We will take temporarily a call from non-Muslims. Let us see. Any Abdul? Mayday, Mayday. Hello? Uh, hello? Yes. Uh, well, uh, I'm, uh, it's embarrassing because I'm French and my English is not really good. Don't so. worry, I speak French very well. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a? Uh, but en fait, voilà, je me demande... uh, sorry, this is the only word I know in French, so we have to switch to English now. <laughs> ah, okay, <laughs> sorry. Uh, well, I uh, and was wondering why uh, Solomon had special powers in the Quran. Be, uh, I know, I, I can't understand. Uh, well, uh, uh, Muhammad gave him himself special powers because he is a prophet and he wants to give himself special powers, but, but why give someone else special powers? Was he a fan of uh, no? The reason, ah. the reason is Muhammad he was living between the Jews, and the Jews okay. they have a lot of fiction stories about their previous kings. Okay. And Muhammad he liked those stories, and always he had to fill up his book. He had to put something in his book. So he he heard those stories from the Jews. Simply he thought that those are true stories. As long as the Jews believe in them, so they must be true. So suddenly we have a book. It's called the uh, Quran. Have a flying carpet. Have a guy who is a king. He have a chicken who work in his army. He have a genie who built for him palaces. He have a ring, and he have a and the, and the shaitan to take the ring from his wife when he go to the bathroom, and then he have sex with all the wives, and the wives do notice that shaitan now is doing better a lot in boom boom. So this is how they notice that this can't be Suleiman. So Muhammad is an idiot of the village. He take whatever people say around him, and he claim that this is coming from his God. All right, it's not about his okay. fan. He is he needs to put something in his book. He's, he have a book, it's empty. I have to make a book. The Christian have a book, the Jews have a book, everybody have a book. I need to put there something. So let us go. Okay, Suleiman, they say Suleiman have a flying carpet. Okay, here we go. Suleiman have a flying carpet. Did that answer you? Ah, okay. That, okay. Um... Uh, so uh, uh, I was really wondering because I was wondering if uh, maybe Mohammed was three or four persons, uh, or four people. One uh, was a sex addict, one was a fan of Sreeman, mm. and uh, the third one was maybe a woman, uh, which would explain the role uh, having a eyeliner and dressing in woman clothes. Or, or... Yeah, he, he, <laughs> you know, he had a very weird habit. He put <laughs> eyeliner three times a day. And he pissed like women, and he dressed women clothes, and he claimed that Allah he never sent him Quran unless he dressed he, he dressed his wife uh, Aisha clothes. <laughs> so uh, obviously, and he kissed men down down their belly. Now you speak Arabic. There is a book of mine in, in French. Uh, sorry, French. Uh, do, do you do you know about it? Uh, not really well. I uh, I see the books uh, on when you do the intro, but I I never saw it in. In the um, bookstore, but may maybe I didn't really check or where it could be. Uh, but, well, this, uh, this book is a translation of my book, and it's written wonderfully by a very professional person. You know, actually, those who uh, uh, they did read the book, they told me that uh, the the person who translated the book he did even better job than the author himself in the translation, because the language is really perfect. Um, so. I advise you to find to get my book, which is you see in the screen, the Secret du Prophet Arab. All right. Okay. So it's a very it's a wonderful book actually, and now it is in Amazon for a very cheap price. You know, Amazon controlling the price, so they put it in a very cheap price. The book deserve a lot more price. I don't know why they put it down. Uh, but tell your friends about it and let them read and learn. It's a it's a treasure of information. Right. Oh, okay, well, in my family, well, they are, they are atheists, well, non-religious. My uh, my father never to, uh, taught us any religion. He, he left us to choose. Well, uh, and I have no idea what religion to choose, uh, uh, apart from Islam, because well, from what you say, it's uh, fake and sexist. So, and I am a woman, so I don't. I have no reason to want to convert to that. No, I, I'm not saying to you. If you read my, if you read my books, nobody will convert to that anyway. If you read my books, you will you will run away from this religion. So this is not the purpose of my book. Uh, my book here give you a lot of reference and arm you with a lot of knowledge in case you want to debate somebody, you want to teach somebody, uh, you want to show something you yourself hard for you to prove it. So it's 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 uh, it's good to have a, a handy uh, library because this is a, like a 
my books is not really uh, like me stating my own opinion it's a it's a it's like it's like a wikipedia of a lot of information and titles and then i i explain it in a very simple method it's not complicated it's very simple you know okay yeah so anyway thank you for calling and i hope that you can tell your friends the french people about this book so they can read more all right all right take care bye by the way if you want to learn if you want to learn how to speak french is very easy uh, just add in the front of any word in arabic in french but lu like you go to paris you say lu taxi the taxi stop you say lu uh, anyway like just say lu you know yeah uh, we are we are always we find our way to learn languages very fast and now you will see a Zakir Naik did that who don't speak Arabic and I made a video about them they confess that they don't even speak Arabic yet yet they want to teach us about Islam yes Abdul Assalamualaikum CP how are you brother hmm, man, it lost it's time to block you do we have any Muslim I think I ah this is different person. Sorry, I think I uh, I apologize. I think this is the same guy. Mm, I thought this is the guy who do play games. I apologize. I think I made a mistake. Hold on. You know there is a guy always he call and he make uh, stupid things. Hold on, hold on. I think. All right. Yeah, I made a mistake. I thought this is the guy who played games. Sounds like I'm CP. Why'd you block me? <laughs> I, I sorry. I apologize. Really, I thought you are the guy who do you know play games and you know just to make sounds and etc. I apologize. No, no worries. Jabril uh, inspire I'll... me, and you know what happened when Jabril inspires somebody. <laughs> mm. Oh my God! Stop. Okay, CP. Yes. How are you? I'm fine, my friend. Hey, well, I was I heard your show a couple of days ago, and you know I'm I'm a student for you of yours, so I'm trying to trying to learn. But I heard you say something, and uh, I wanted to help you bust this cult more. Okay. Um, so you you were mentioning that Muhammad got a lot of his stories from the Jews, right? Mm -hmm. And this this is I agree with this, mm -hmm. but also like the thing about the stoning, he actually didn't get that from the Jews, and this is going to be so bad because. I don't know if you've heard of uh, Imam Tawhidi. Hmm. He's a he's a Shia. He's trying to change Islam. I was just on a call with him hmm. recently talking about this um, because uh, I have a, a blog where I talk about uh, Islam as well. So I was doing research, and so I was asking him about the stoning. Hmm. And I said, "Does this come from the Old Testament, where uh, where mo the law, the Mosaic law with Moses? Is that where that comes from?" He said, "No. Go to Sa so literally go to sahih-bukhari.com, the official website of Sahih Bukhari. Hmm. Type in monkey." Literally, this this madman got. He saw two monkeys stone each other to death. No, no, this this, this, this Tawhidi is a is an idiot. With my, you know, this Tawhidi is an idiot, because first of really? all, yeah, he's a hypocrite. First of all, the Shia they practiced uh, stoning to death too. No, Secondly, I agree with you, but he's saying that this this comes from uh, a story where the monkeys no, no, killed each other. No, no, no. This, yes, I know the sure? story. I know the story about the monkey. And here we go. I put it for you on the screen. But this is not where Muhammad he learned this from. This really, Tawhidi, this Tawhidi is a joke. He is he is not a sheikh. He is a he is a fraud. The same as the rest of them. Here we go. The story in front of you. It's about the pre-Islamic religion, uh, and I have this in my book Six and Allah. That uh, uh, supposedly there's a monkey was sleeping in the top of the arm of her. Uh, sorry, uh, the her husband, Mr. Abdullah, was sleeping in the in her shoulder, and then another monkey he came from behind the tree. And he show her a banana, big banana, and then yeah. she got seduced and tempted, and she went behind the tree and she have sex with the other guy. Then when she <laughs> came back, she slept, she put her hand under the arm, uh, under the head of her husband, and then the husband he woke up and he smell her vagina and he smell sperm there, and he started screaming Allahu Akbar, and then the monkeys came and they started and they make a Sharia accord, and they capture the female monkey and they stone her, and the guy he stone her with them, but this is not where. The stoning coming from it's coming from the Old Testament. Really? Oh my! So, what do you think about Imam Tawhidi in general? As I told you, he's an idiot. 
Okay, so you don't think that he can change Islam? He is a Shia, my friend. Shia are people who never to take their words as a trustworthy. You see, the Muslims only they lie, maybe let us say seventy time percent. Okay, yeah. Shia they lie three hundred percent. All right. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Okay. I guess I I, I do have one more. And question ask, for as you. long as long yeah. you are talking to this guy, ask him why he don't want to come and debate me. Oh, you know what? I should have asked him about that because I, I talked to him about some of the the other uh, Christian Christian scholars. I talked to him about Dr. David Wood. Everyone seems to know Dr. Wood, but uh, for some reason, I don't know what it is about. No, no, videos, they know. No, they didn't know me more than David Wood. When David Wood was even, he was an atheist. I was a fighting Islam. What those guys are talking about? But they tried really? to say I do not know him, so he can avoid accepting the challenge. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. He didn't yeah. know me. Yeah. <laughs> That's interesting. How do you feel about uh, Nabil Qureshi? Good, well, he is our brother, and he is with the Lord now. You know, mm. yeah, yeah. And all of us, yeah. we will die one day. I mean, uh, you see, for sure. For me, I was really uh, unhappy to what happened to him. But I mean, this is normal. People die every day by cancer, by diseases. I might die by cancer too. What a big deal, you know? So, yeah. you know, uh, the, those things. You know, we are living in this earth to die. We are born to die. Jesus, he said, "Let let the dead bury the dead." Mm. Let the dead bury the dead. All of us, we are dead. All of us now here, we are dead. So nothing mm. happened. You know, it's about just time. My time is not here now. You know, maybe tomorrow, maybe next year. That's why. But the yeah. important is how much we accomplish before we die. Mm. Yeah. So how is your uh, Quran translation going? I heard a rumor that you're you're working on one. Yes, it's not a rumor. Jibril told me, Jibril come to me and he squeezed me three times. And he said... <laughs> Uh, translated and I said I cannot translate it and he squeezed me again and he said translated and I, I cannot translate it and he squeezed me third time and he said translated and then I was convinced so I went to my wife Khadija and she Khadija she took me to Waraq ibn Nufal and Waraq ibn Nufal he told me the guy who came to you this guy is called Namus and he squeezed you because you have you became a prophet so now I now I have to carry on in the mission and uh, translate the Quran yeah CP, it's yeah. it's really crazy that with this whole thing about the translation, just because you see with these sheikhs and these imams, they they literally lie in the translation. It's so scary. Uh, I'm sure you're familiar with the hadith about Muhammad wearing Aisha radiallahu anhu whose clothes, right? Yes. They this this joker of a sheikh I was speaking to recently. He he thought that he was like the only one that that knows Arabic. He was trying to tell me that the word tob we know in tob in Arabic it's it's a it's clothing. Mm. The he was saying that thob it could mean anything. It could mean a uh, it could mean a the sheet that you put on top of a pool. It could mean like right. oh, this, he's like I'm like brother. Thob is a, a it's a it's a clo it's clothes. Okay, right? Who are you trying? Because it's all these people that don't that are just uh, white English English speaking folks. They they don't know that thob thob is like a, the traditional Islamic outfit they've been wearing for 1400 years. Yeah. So this this joke of a shit. It, that's why your your work with translating is so important because there's so much lies. Yeah. Well, we you know we do our part, and uh, uh, let's pray that uh, the translation will not talk, uh, take too much time, and we will have it there. Huh? Perfect. Yeah. I'm working uh, actually. Uh, th uh, this is uh, I started this a uh, long time ago, more than two years. But I like uh, it's like I, uh, because I'm busy in many things, books and life on air and etc. So it's like, uh, and I go on and I stop and I go on again. So uh, let us hope in a few months from now. And actually, I'm thinking to take a vacation uh, when I go to Taliban uh, in Afghanistan, <laughs> take a vacation there because I want to relax, you know, take hashish, cocaine, heroin, it's free there. Uh, everybody, everybody is high. And this is the best way to translate the Quran. You, know? yeah. you will not have any stress when you translate such a book. You will be high and because the whole country is high. Taliban is yeah. high and you are high and, and Allah is high. Oh, here we go. Actually, right. the Muslim themselves, they say that Allah is the most high. And I challenge any Muslim to say I'm lying. And <laughs> I understand why, because he took too much hashish. Oh my gosh, that's that's insane. CP, how do you feel about this movement of moderate Muslims versus extremist Muslims? How do you feel about this? Uh, this is this is what what do we have moderate Quran? Do we have moderate Muhammad? Do we have moderate Allah? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> oh, don't say it. you have to look at the context, brother. Look at the context. Yeah, we have the context, no problem. 
you have it. I know you showed you said to pick a context. You pick Ibn Kathir's context. You pick Al Jalalain context. You pick uh, Maldudi context. Yeah, uh, garbage, garbage, and garbage. Out. They can try. You know, it, it, this is a good step actually for those who they are trying to leave Islam because it show you the sign of rejection. They are rejecting Islam, so they are trying to reform their belief. They knew that this is Islam. So now, what we will do? Either we say we left Islam right away, or which is harmful for us, maybe we get killed, or we say we are going to reform and they got wrong interpretation. So we will be safe, but yet we are not following Allah, we are not following Muhammad no more. Mm. You know? Yeah, yeah. That's that's crazy. Um CP, do you know uh, Sister Hatun with uh, DCCI? Yeah, I saw I saw her videos, yeah. She's a good one. You see, you see the one that she made about uh in the salat that they are speaking to Muhammad. I had I totally didn't even know that. She mm. I can't believe she found this, but she's right. Yeah. No, that's absolutely, like absolutely. Brother. Anyway, uh, this topic we spoke about it too many times and it's really for me it became boring. Allah yeah. he pray, Allah don't pray, Allah doesn't exist anymore anyway. Yeah, I know. <laughs> you know. Okay, CP, I don't I don't want to interrupt you too much. I'll let you get back to your, your show. Thank you. And I apologize for, for thinking that you are the guy who play games. What did he have the same name? He was Abdullah. No, but you know, Jibreel suddenly appeared in front of me and he have six hundred wings. And he said to me, <laughs> This is the guy. And you know Jibreel, always he like what I can do. You know? Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you, my friend. Take care.